In this video, I'm going to take you through Binance Liquid Swap, a new trading platform that lets users pull tokens for easy earning and instant liquidity. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on Binance, please check out everbithelps.co.uk. Binance, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, has now created its own centralized version of an automated market maker pool. Named BSwap or Binance Liquid Swap, set to rival the likes of Uniswap, their decentralized exchange allows users to token swap, plus provide liquidity in return for an annual percentage yield and get a share of the protocol's trading fees. Binance Liquid Swap is an automated market maker or AMM pool product the first of its kind in a centralized exchange. And AMMs work by automating the trading process so that no two traders ever have to wait to find each other. Instead, trades are executed via smart contracts and private reserves are replaced by voluntary liquidity pools. The benefits of using their AMM will give users lower fees, stable prices and instant liquidity. Plus fees for the first month will be as low as 0.04% and they've initially launched with three crypto assets for trading, which are Binance USD, DAI and Tether. And users can deposit these and start earning interest, plus a cut of the transaction fees in return for pooling your tokens. Binance, like many other centralized exchanges, are being forced to rapidly adopt DeFi tokens, or else risk being left behind. By providing the convenience of being a few clicks away from their centralized exchange, plus having the security and user base of Binance. They hope to bring some of the users back to the platform and encourage more growth in the DeFi market. So let's take a walkthrough of Binance Liquid Swap now. And the first thing you'll wanna do is head over to Binance.com, then go to Finance and Liquid Swap. And we'll start with Swap, where we can trade instantly without waiting for someone to match our order. But before we can begin to swap, you'll need to log in. And I use YubiKey as an extra layer of security for my account, which if you're interested in hearing more about, then please feel free to check out my video. But once you're logged in, any balances that you have will pull across from your wallet, and they'll appear at the top of the screen here. So we can type in the amount of our token that we'd like to swap, or we can click onto max, where it will take our whole available balance. And as I mentioned before, you can select from USDT, BUSD, or DAI. And in this example, I've got 22 USDT available to swap. And I'm gonna swap that for BUSD. And as it states here, the ultimate price and output is determined by the amount of tokens in the pool at the time of your swap. And obviously that can change at the time that it actually executes. So the price here is estimated and not necessarily the final price. And it also tells me my fee that I'm paying here, which is tiny. And this is the trade transaction fee that is collected by the liquidity providers. Plus it shows any slippage in here, which is the estimated percentage that the price could change from the current price due to the trading amount. And if you're happy, you can go ahead with the swap. And I can view my swap history here. And under 60 seconds later, that's now gone through as a success. So that was pretty simple to use. So let's take a look at liquidity now. Now, one word of warning about liquidity. Adding liquidity into a liquid pool and becoming a liquidity provider is not risk-free. When the market price of tokens fluctuate greatly, the staking income may be lower than the income of normally holding tokens and losses may even occur. So you can become a liquidity provider by adding your assets in the liquid asset pool. And when you do, you'll receive the transaction fee income of users in the pool as we saw in the previous screen when we were swapping. And you can remove your shares at any time. And at the top of our screen here, you can see the seven day API for each pairing, which again is currently BUSD to USD Tether, USDT to DAI, 
and BUSD to DAI. So let's take a look at adding liquidity now. So the first thing you'll need to do is select a pool of liquid trading pairs from the dropdown. Now I've just swapped to that BUSD, so I'm going to choose BUSD to DAI at 17.1481%. Then we can enter in the amount or the collateral that we'd like to deposit into the pool. And I can put that amount in in BUSD or DAI. So if I put the amount in now of 20 BUSD, and the system will convert the amount into two tokens according to the price ratio of the current trading pair pool and fill the liquidity pool with a certain amount of pool share. And it will show me my price here, which again is an approximate value. It shows you your share and the pool share that you're expected to get after this operation. And the share will change according to the pool's adding and removing liquidity situation. Then you can see the seven day APY here, as well as the current pool size at the bottom. And you'll need to accept that you've read and understood the terms of use before clicking on to add when you're happy to do so. Then once it's been added, you can view all the information in relation to your liquidity and share under My Share, which I'm going to take you through in a moment. Now, if you wanted to remove or unstake, you can do so under the Remove tab, which you can do at any time by selecting the pool and the share amount. And you can choose whether or not you'd like to remove from the pool in both proportional tokens or in a single token of your choice. Now, when you're removing a single token, there will be a transaction fee which will be deducted from the amount, and this is due to the need to trade the coin first. And it will show you the price, the share of the pool, the current pool size, your current share, the share of the pool, and the current share composites. And if you want to go ahead, you can simply remove from the liquidity pool. Now, I'm not going to go ahead with that now but I will take you through the My Share section here. And in here, it shows you a summary and detailed information in relation to your share, such as your current share value, your total unrealized p &L, which is your current share minus the total cost of your shares. And it breaks down your share into details, such as the pair, share amount, value composites, and the share of the pool, and your liquidity history, which you can filter by different pairs and dates. So that completes my run through of Binance Liquid Share or BSwap. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step by step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.